Hello YouTube, Chris here with Copperhead Metal Detecting. I just got permission to hunt this 1901 home behind me here and it's been gone over before and there's been dirt added to the yard, about a foot of dirt he said. But I've hunted and I just got a really good signal. I've got uh, two uh, wheat pennies and a clad dime out of the yard so far but I just got my first real good signal here and it uh, rings up as a 14. So uh, let's take a look at it and see what we got. Okay, this had a real good sound to it. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got it out of the hole. Here we go. Looks like we got a like a nickel smooth nickel too oh that's got a shield on it I don't believe it I think this is my first shield nickel I've ever found wow <clears throat> let me clean it up just a little bit and I'll be right back okay well I'm I'm back with cleaning it up and unfortunately I can't get a date off of it but there you can see the five and there's the shield but I can't get a date off of it that's just awesome my first shield nickel okay out with the next target okay back with my next target out of the hole and yeah, looks like I got a another weedy which I cleaned it up just a little bit before I <clears throat> videoed it and it is a 1919. At least that's what it looks like. Okay, out with the next target. Okay, I'm back with my next target in the hole. Well, it's actually in the plug. And it was giving me a 13 on the Equinox. And looks like we have another nickel. Not sure what this one is, but kind of hard to tell. Uh, this looks like a this looks like a regular nickel, maybe. Can't tell for sure. It's got a lot of stuff on it. Let me uh, see if I can clean it off just a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay. Back with cleaning it up. I was wrong. It is a buffalo. Not really sure. It looks like it says 1928 on it. 28 or 22. You may be able to see that a little better than I can. Alright. Good little yard here. Alright. Out with the next target. Okay, I've got my first target in the hole here, and it looks like uh, we have a penny. It was giving me an Indian head reading, <clears throat> and I think, yep, I think I see the headdress on it. Looks like it. Can't really tell for sure. Let me... Uh, let me clean this up just a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the cleanup. I was wrong. It's a 1932 Canadian one cent. Okay. Well, that's off to a start. Out for the next target. Okay, I'm uh, back with my next target out of the hole, and looks like I got a part of a harmonica reed and some kind of a little chicken pendant. Not really sure what that is. I cleaned it up when I removed it from the hole, but that's all that uh, came out of that one. Only half of it. Okay, out with the next targets. Okay, back with the next target out of the hole. And it looks like we have possibly a 
fired musket ball, maybe. I'm not for sure. Kind of flattened out on one side. Best I can tell what it was. Rang up as a 12, 11, 12 uh, <clears throat> on the Knox. I'm not uh, too used to digging <clears throat> musket balls, but uh, kind of what it looks like. I fired one. Okay. Out with the next target. Okay, I'm back with my next signal. And I had a 1213 on the uh, on the Knox. And I've got a 1952 nickel. It looks like it's got a mint mark on it. Okay. Out with the next target. Okay, I'm back with my first good target. And as you can see, I got it out of the hole. This one came out first. I cleaned it off. And it's dried out a little bit. We swept back over the hole. Had another signal. And dug this little buckle out of the hole. So two little brass buckles out of the same hole. Pretty cool right there. And this yard, she said, has been gone over many, many times. And that she also had the yard filled in years ago <clears throat> when the work was done to it. Obviously, it didn't get everything. Your, the hole's probably about uh, maybe six and a half inches deep. So that's pretty good. Okay, out with the next target. Okay, I'm uh, back with my next target out of the hole. And it looks like we have a set of wings. Not quite sure what this is. Looks like the curvature of uh, wings that were on something. Possibly. May have been broken off at one time. Kind of rough right there on the end. It's underneath this... Uh, big old root here you see how far my hand goes down underneath it this yard is full of tree roots but uh, I'll uh, clean this up a little bit and I'll uh, get back with you okay well I'm back with the cleanup on it that's about as good as I'm going to get it still not sure what that is set of wings okay out with the next target okay back with my next target out of the hole and I have a button N and W button nice little button had a shank on it kinda of looks like a two piece though may not be that old but Okay, I'm back with my next target, and it's right in the plug, <clears throat> and right there it sits. It's a big disc. Not sure what it is. Sure looks like a coin. And it's hole, too, whatever it is. I can't really tell for sure the, on this side. Maybe you can see it. I'm not for sure. Let me uh, clean this up just a little bit and I'll get right back and we'll see what it is. Okay, I'm back with it cleaned up and it's a 1927 one penny and I saw one of these dug the other day and I cannot remember exactly what kind it was but one of the videos I was watching somebody had one of these it was like right on top of the ground okay out with the next target okay I'm uh, back with the first coin out of the ground finally and I believe it says it's a 1927 wheat penny I believe that's what it says. I tried to clean it up best I could, but 
1927. Okay, out with the next target. Okay, I'm back with the next coin out of the ground. I got another, looks like another wheat penny. And I looked at the date on it. It is a 1931. Okay, out with the next target.